Hi Pisces, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your love reading for the time period of October 2018. Some of the messages may or may not resonate, but that's okay. If they don't, if it maybe it's just not for you. Your reading looks good, so you might want it to resonate. But um, you can always check your other signs as well if this does not. Now, I want to tell you that if you're looking to see if someone new is coming in, if I see that, I'll, I'll mention some signs and uh, if I see them. But this is more about, with the Venus retrograde, about partnerships. So even if there isn't anyone new coming into your life, you can use this reading to look at your relationships with friends and family as well. Okay. Now, with the Venus retrograde starting October 5th until November 15th, this is definitely going to be a time for reevaluating uh, situations, relationships, things said, things not said, behaviors, emotions, all of that. It's not definitely a time that would be good for beginning new relationships, although you may have people from your past returning, trying to partner up with you, either reconciling with you or just reigniting something. Now. What I want to do is I'm going to pull a card for what your advice may be for this time period or what you may need to pay attention to during the Venus retrograde uh, to help you uh, just kind of like assess what things need to either be added to or taken away or improved upon in your relationships. Okay, so this card fell out. King of Cups, and can I just say, <laughs> so th this could be you, Pisces, that you need to reevaluate yourself and your love style. You may need to um, think about if you need to maybe learn some new things, go back into school um, during this time period, reassess where you're getting your happiness. Um, and also I feel that you need to start looking back on things that you may have communicated to other people uh, to look back reevaluate the things that were said some of you could also be dealing with another water sign or someone um, if you're female this could be a male who was quite reserved in his emotions and you maybe you need to reassess your relationship with this person um, you also have the six of swords here so some of you may be you need to reassess if it's time to leave this connection with this person or m move forward with them. Um, if you need to travel to see this person, if you need to, or if, the, if you want them to come and see you, I'm trying to avoid this glare, if you want them to come see you, um, if you need to take a trip with this person, if... You know, the Six of Swords is always a card of transition, a necessary transition, albeit a fearful one. And there is some type of change that needs to occur between you and another person. And it's a transition that needs to happen and it's fearful. And it may be time for you to figure out if you're ready, if you can do this, to figure out how you're going to do this. It's time to make a move. And I feel like another person that you're dealing with is also experiencing this energy too with this Venus retrograde. So let's take a look and see what your love message may be. Well, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this time period is really just to focus on loving yourself. If you've been putting energy into something and you weren't getting anything in return, um, redirect that energy back towards yourself. All right. So let's get a look here at this spread. This is going to be from the other person's perspective and what's going on with them. So... I feel like in the past there may have been reconciliation with the per with someone. 
This is the judgment card. There was a, a, a readjustment, some change that was made. There was revelation. There was some opening up that may have occurred in the past. And when I say the past, this could be yesterday. This could be weeks, months, years. It's in the past. This could have been a couple of hours ago, <laughs> you know. Um, so there may have been reconciliation with someone. Some of you may have been dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Could be Taurus. Either way. Um, there may have been some type of revelation also about this person in the past. And I feel like a lot of you are very much in love with this person. Now, they don't have to be an earth sign. Um, if this is romantic, there was much love. If this is just friend or family, there was just a very deep connection with this person. This could just be someone who's a business man or woman, someone who's very focused on their money. They're focused on uh, stability. They're a very stable person. Um, and, you know, if you were dealing with, like, say, it, it, so when I say, like, if you're we're dealing with, like, an earth sign, like, say, for Virgo, for instance, um, and some of you may say, well, that's not how they were at all. Um, well, everybody has tendencies to be, you know, they're positive and negative. This person, I feel like, was trying to be positive, show themselves in a positive light to you in the past, trying to open up and reveal themselves. And usually the King of Pentacles is not very revealing with their emotions. They're definitely more sensual, but not emotional. And I feel that either there was something that you realized about this person or they were really realizing things about themselves and perhaps trying to reveal themselves in some way or make some type of reconciliation with you or make some type of change. Um, you know, judgment came down upon them about something. They Maybe they were judging themselves too harshly or other people were judging them or, or you were judging them, which is not really a Pisces thing to do, but it may be more along the lines of this person was just realizing truths about themselves. Here they are with the Ten of Cups, feeling extremely satisfied emotionally in the present with the Princess of Swords crossing them. So I feel like this person does want to communicate to you how happy they are now. And you may hear from them sometime in October about this. Um, I feel like this, they are, they're, they have this aggressive nature. They're, they're fearless now at this point for getting everything that they wish, all ha to have all their wishes come true, to have this complete happiness and joy and contentment with you. This is what they want. And I feel like they could be um, making their move towards you because I do feel that they feel <clears throat> this satiety, satiety, how do I say the word? S-A-T-I-E-T-Y, satiety, satiety, they feel satiated with you. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> they feel um, content and joyful and happy with you. Here's the Nine of Cups. This is what they're, th what driving them. I feel they probably in the past at some point had a realization or a, revela a revelation about the truth about who you are to them and you know really coming to this place where wow you know he or she really makes me happy they want to make an offer to you here with the knight of cups this is what's on their mind for october oh boy Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, all this emotional energy, proposal, love, marriage, commitment. Um, the Knight of Cups is just, you know, two knights. This is m movement type energy. Knights are, 
Knights don't usually stick around. Um, probably the only knight that would stick around the longest <laughs> would be the knight of pentacles. But I don't really feel like, you know, a proposal that's coming to you, this person thinking about making some type of proposal to you, you know, the same person is going to propose to you 20 times <laughs> out of the entire year. They'll make the one proposal and and then it's done, right? And then you move forward. The knight is an initiator and this person wants to initiate a love connection with you because you make them feel so happy. They want to initiate communication with you in October because you make them you, you, they're just, they feel so content with you. I don't even need to clarify. The six of wands here towards the middle to end of October is showing me victory, valor, success with this connection with this person. And I know you're thinking, but it's Venus retrograde. What should I do if this is somebody's coming back? Um, I'm going to show you in the position of you. But I'm seeing victory here with this person and the Page of Cups, messages back and forth. Um, you will receive messages from this, well, I should say may, because your will is your will. Um, this person, I really, f <laughs> your reading is very nice, Pisces for October. It's very beautiful. Even the Four of Wands is underneath here that I just saw. So this is a marriage card. Um, celebrations. There's something I feel happening for you finally, Pisces, where you're going to hear from this person mid to late October. There will be messages, a message of love of some sort. There's some type of like it's almost like a childlike crush or um, extreme feelings for you. Not deep and intense, but enough to cause this person to want to um, make a move towards you. It will be a successful situation that occurs here. Okay, This person is in the position of the Empress. They see birth. They see change. There's fertility. This is what they want. They see you as the empress, which is div d divine guidance, div or divine goddess. These are, and if you're a male, you know, <laughs> this is what they want to be for you, is the empress. Okay, so I really just feel that your reading is just like amazing. You're. It might, it's not even going to last that long because it's so good. Your position here, your advice, you have the magician. And this is telling me that you need to keep manifesting. Keep manifesting. Whatever you've been doing is working. That's all I can tell you. Whatever you've been doing, even if you feel like nothing's been happening or you felt like giving up with a particular person, I feel like it's, it's working. <laughs> even if you've been doing nothing, it's working. So keep manifesting in your life, your spiritual growth, your dreams, your hopes, your wishes. Keep manifesting all this positivity. Okay? Don't commit to anything, though, yet. Because of this Venus retrograde, your advice is to just keep manifesting all of the options, all of the things that you want. You don't have to make a decision, even though maybe some of you want to hear back from this person or you want someone new to come in that realizes that you know you're the one for them and and what have you um it, it's the advice is to not commit to anything just yet and i'm not sure why i think it's because it might be because you're still manifesting in your own life or you're still trying to keep yourself in this place because maybe you're busy doing things or maybe you have a lot of projects or things going on in your life. It's not to deny love. Um, but it's not to... It's just to wait. I just, I'm getting this feeling of for you to wait before you say yes to anything. Uh, you can still keep 
yourself attached or in contact with this person because they have the lovers here and this person is hoping that you will choose them is hoping that you will connect with them is hoping that you will be with them they fear that you won't okay so we're seeing Gemini here we're seeing Libra Taurus Virgo Capricorn there's some air it's pretty much all of everything so I don't want to like get too deep into what sign it is you know who your person is um, sometimes I feel like if I say the sign then a lot of you will get your heart will sink and you'll say oh it must not be for me but I don't want you to think that because sometimes people just need a little extra clarity but if you don't get that clarity by me not calling out a particular sign please don't think that that's not about the person that you're listening to this reading for because I feel like it is okay whether the major arcana represents a sign or not it's always about the energy first the kings and queens sometimes the knights and pages represent signs but what's most important is the energy that's playing out here and I feel like with the lovers here this person wants that connection they want you to choose them because they're choosing you some of you I can already hear you saying it's about damn time <laughs> I know somebody's gonna post that finally why did it take them so long to realize my worth and my value <laughs> who knows it's just the universe and divine timing the outcome is the seven of wands here so this is glorious <laughs> to go from the six of wands victory to the seven of wands which is valor this is a very I feel like for a lot of you you're getting what you've been wanting you, you're getting what you've wanted with this person or with someone in your life I don't know what you've been doing Pisces but whatever you've been doing it's been working there you have the ten of Pentacles here so this is security that's stability financial stability in your life stability in your home life in your partnership in a marriage family everything uh, joyousness support everything going and working out in the way that you may have wanted it to work out or you were hoping for it to work out but again I feel like it's not time this is just not the time for you to make a decision yet you don't you know don't it you can make a decision but don't commit to anything just yet I don't know why I feel the need to tell you that I just feel like it's because there's manifestation that's surrounding you that's happening in your life right now and you need to let that work its way through first before you commit to anything some of you may have already been on some type of a journey or you've been on something that's been having you've been making great strides you need to continue that work first whatever it may be whatever's happening please do comment tell me what great strides you've been making in the recent um, the changes that you've experienced in your life um, that you feel you need to keep moving forward that you, you that there's some type of soul energy work that's not done yet for you um, that's still manifesting that's still needing to happen and it may not be time for you to move forward with somebody else just yet but perhaps just the the acknowledgement of um, from this other person will help you greatly in manifesting what you're trying to manifest and I feel that it's okay to accept whatever an offer is that comes in from this person it could be an apology as well that you feel was deserved that you were waiting a closure not necessarily closure it could be but an apology from somebody about something that y you will feel victorious about successful with is something that you've been waiting for 
I don't really feel the need to keep moving on with your reading. Sometimes I have to do extra clarifying cards or spend more time on a reading to get more clarity, but your reading was just so positive, and I really don't know how hard we need to clarify that. I feel like if we keep picking at it, we'll make it worse. So let's just leave it at this for now. And um, again, if you want to get a personal reading from me, just click one of the links, well, the link below in the description box. And I'll see you guys the end of October. Have a happy Halloween. Okay, bye.